Hi everybody. After my last video, I got a question regarding my base station setup at home and with the equipment that I have for it and it works pretty good. I mean, there's certainly a lot better base station setups out there, but I thought I'd kind of walk you through the nice simple, I use a mobile radio. I've actually right now got a mobile antenna set up, so I thought I would walk you guys through what I have going on here at the house. And the first thing I want to show you is my setup. So what we have over here is we have the power supply and I used the mount for the radio and just put Velcro on it and Velcroed it right to the top of the power supply so everything kind of stays right there together. Uh, quick and easy, microphones just mounted on the side over here. And as you can see, the, the power supply is set up for 13.8 volts. And let me show you what power supply that I went with for this job. And it'll be a little bit better to show you what's on the back of it as well. So what we have is the Tech Power TP30 SWV. Now that's that's just what I decided to go with. I did some research and uh, thought I, you know, did just thought I'd come up with the best one for me. Yeah, yours might be a little different, but. I just watched a lot of other YouTube videos and uh, did a lot of research on reviews and things and this one came up pretty good, pretty solid. I've been happy with it. I've had it for close to a year now and it has, does everything I want and what I needed out of mine was the DC out the, uh, the cigarette lighter adapter. So I kind of needed that. It's got the two little pins down below as well. Because when I'm testing out like one of my smaller radios that's just a cigarette lighter plug-in, it's kind of nice to be able to just do that right on the bench. Scoot over, it's got voltage adjust. You know, I kind of wanted something that was variable in case I want to mess with something else. Uh, I don't mess with the noise offset, but there's the on-off. And there is the TP30 SWV. It's got the digital display on it, but you can get these with analog displays as well. If you look at the back, that is what one thing I like too was over here the voltage 13.8 volts sorry so you just flip that up and it becomes 13.8 volts just like your car power so I thought that was a nice feature so I did that so even if you don't want to do the variable knob or, or risk bumping the variable knob to knock it off of 13.8 you don't have to worry about it just flip the switch on the back you are good to go and there's the power cord is plugged in on that side so it's a nice little unit and doesn't cost too awful much this one was 139.99 right now but it got pretty good ratings like four and a half stars for 311 ratings I thought that was pretty good so I got it and I've also been asked about the antenna that I use and I'll take you for a little tour of my setup over here but to show you what antenna I got it was a layered and I actually bought it from this website, Arcadian Incorporated. Uh, they were real responsive, got it to me in a good amount of time. The BB450 CNS. I wanted one with a spring on it because I still use it on the car, whenever or on a rental car actually. Is this one is set up on a magnet, so whenever I go on the road, I can just grab. Oh, it looks like we have a visitor behind me who's highly decided to join us. Oh, come on down so anyway the uh, antenna I wanted a spring mount on it it's no ground plane that's what the NGP is right here of course it's for GMRS and uh, so it, it just worked out and you can get a this one's a 5 DB you can get a 4503 for 3 DB so if you just select that number right there CNS that's all the little features no ground plane spring uh, so I, I love this antenna. I have one on uh, my truck and it works great and I bought another one like say for my little travel rig setup and for uh, just to use in here in the house. So the antenna that I ordered and I'm going to go over this a little later for my base station. I wanted something a little better so I ordered this Harvest BC200. That will be in next week so I'll get that hooked up and let you guys know what I think I went with the uh, 400 cable so I get that low loss cable because that's I want to make sure I had something good so I wasn't losing a lot of signal that one will be placed up in the attic and 
it should be good to go um, next week so hopefully I'll be making another video on that next here's some of the specs on it um, SWR should be less than 1.5 50 ohms you know I again I looked at a bunch of reviews I'm sure there are better antennas out there but this one for the budget and for the reviews that I read it seemed like a pretty good one so that's what I'm gonna go with in the future but for now tech power and my layered antenna I like it so much I've got two of them so let's take a little tour over and look at the setup real quick I like I say I have it just velcroed right on top I have an MTX 400 on here which these I'm gonna do a, a little setup video on it like like I did the MXT 500 so I'll do a setup video on that show you walk you through the software that kind of stuff microphone right there on the side it gets a good signal all the way that repeater is quite a ways away and as you can see I'm getting a pretty killer signal from that so right now let me take the camera off of the mount and I'll show you the the layered antenna setup that I have taking a little tour over here so there's the layered antenna simply I just have it sitting on the shelf literally just right there and you can see that that repeater is probably a good 30 some miles away Oops, sorry about that guys so that re that repeater is quite a ways away but I I hit it like I say that's sitting on a shelf not ideal at all but still gets me out there my wife she travels she's riding around in the Camaro I can always you know ping her using the Warrington repeater or Blue Mountain for that matter I think she can hit that one in her car as well but most of the time we use the Warrington but uh, I hope you guys it's like it's a nice simple setup I try to make it nice I have one cord in here just for that that has spade connectors on it to go to the back of the to the back over here I just have some spade connectors connected to that and you know I get good power now I made the mistake at first of buying a power supply I thought you know it, it only draws so many amps so I got a little 5 amp power supply thinking that that would be enough it definitely was not it was crunching that power supply and I was getting no transmit out of that so what I had to do was I got the bigger power supply so don't waste your money on something smaller go bigger than you think you're gonna need so don't make the mistake you know wasting the money like I did but if over here you can see if you, I don't know if you can see the display or not but when I transmit 7.1 amps so it definitely was pulling more than that little 5 amper could handle and I don't know what I was thinking but fix that problem and uh, hopefully I can keep you from making the same mistake there's one other antenna that I use and that is the let's see it is the N9 tax slim Jim roll-up antenna this is a great little antenna uh, I wanted it because when I go out in the boonies you know I can set up a little mini base station out there you throw a rope over a tree you pull it up high and you should be able to get a good signal out in the woods especially up on camping out on top of some of these ridges over here in Virginia so I got that one of course I got you can select the connectors I got it from n9taxlabs.com uh, that was great again quick delivery from these guys it's just a little roll-up antenna here it is if you want to take a look at it it is it is so cool you just throw a rope over a tree hook it up drag it up <laughs> oh he's trying to attack it uh, so you pull that up have a little base station out there in the middle of the camp and be able to talk to everybody you know my main motivation was off-roading was why I wanted to get into GMRS in the first place but I've been having a lot of fun with it outside of off-roading and I'm hoping that you know you guys that are getting into it you know I'm still a newbie at this I don't know everything but I'm learning and I promise to pass on everything I learned to you guys so I hope you'll tune in in the future and see some more of my videos Thank you.